hello guys welcome to how to fix tech in this video guys we are going to fix the issue bluetooth is not working on our windows 10 but you can follow these steps in windows 10 and 8 as well so first of all let me show you the error if i go to windows search bar tap a bluetooth and other device setting open the bluetooth and other devices setting and you can see there is no on off button in my case if i connect click on add i'm not able to connect the bluetooth and previously i have connected with all the devices you can see here if you don't have the on off button like me this video is for you also if you have the button on off button and not able to connect you can troubleshoot this issue as well so how to troubleshoot this issue if you have on off button here so you can remove the device from here and then reconnect it okay so this is a basic step you should troubleshoot and it should be turned on here and we need to also make sure that the aeroplane mode is not on on your laptop so go to start menu then click on setting sometime it windows aeroplane mode is on you are not going to get the bluetooth option as well no network click on this option network and internet and go to aeroplane mode make sure it is off if it is on make sure it is turned off and then wireless device should be on here okay you should already have enabled this setting so let's start without wasting our time so go to windows search bar we need to make sure that the windows bluetooth service is running Tyfair services run it as an administrator and in the windows services look for bluetooth audio gateway service first make sure it is running in case the status should be running in my case it is not running you need to right click on it go to its properties and select the startup type automatic click on start and click on apply click on ok and now you can see it is running now bluetooth support service same go to properties automatic click on start click on apply click on ok and it should be running also this bluetooth user support it should be running so click on start and now three services are running related to bluetooth now let me check if my issue is solved or not bluetooth and other devices now you can see still i don't have the option so i need to go to control panel to troubleshoot this issue open the control panel and go to view by here then click on here the large icons once you click on large icon go to troubleshoot you should be getting the troubleshoot options this option troubleshooting open it up and click on this option hardware and sound now from here drop down you can see the bluetooth listed here click on that option click on next and this will automatically try to resolve your issue if the issue is minor it will fix your issue automatically if not we can move to the advanced method we will reinstall the driver as well as do some registry changes let's wait now apply fix now it is trying to resolve the issue now you can see it has fixed some issue here ok click on close and click on close let me go to the again now you can see I am able to get on a button here it means that my bluetooth is connected my issue has been resolved now if your issue is resolved then well and good if not we can go to the device manager
and Bluetooth driver should be listed here. If you don't have the Bluetooth driver here, I will show you how to reinstall the hardware of Bluetooth here. So go to view, click on show hidden devices. Sometimes if it is hidden, so you are not able to see the Bluetooth. If you have Bluetooth here, expand Bluetooth and you can see the multiple options I have already connected. Go to this option, Intel Wireless Bluetooth, right click, update driver, search automatically and you are connected with the network that's why I'm choosing the automatic and you can also choose this option search for updated driver on the Windows update if you are able to get the Bluetooth driver from Windows update here make sure you are using the latest Windows and you are updated your Windows now you can see I'm getting the update here. Make sure all the updates you are getting. If you are able to see the view optional updates, click on that, expand that and install the, all the drivers from there. After that, restart your system, your issue should fix. <coughs> if you have still issue, we can go to registry editor. This is the advanced method. Open the registry as an administrator. Click on yes button when the prompt opens. And let me minimize the registry here. Now we need to navigate through this path. HK local machine software Microsoft Windows NT current version. Double click on HP local machine. Double click on software. Now you need to look for Microsoft after the software. Double click on Microsoft. Then you need to look for Windows NT in a W series. Double click on Windows NT. Now double click on the current version. Now we need to look for current version here. Let me look for this option. Current version. The value is 6.3 now. We need to double click on that and change its value to 2. Click on OK. And now we just need to restart your system. You just need to restart your system and thereafter your issue will be fixed. If you have restarted your system after the registry changes and still not solved, we can go to the Google browser and we will manually download the Intel driver here. Type for Intel Bluetooth driver. This option Intel Bluetooth driver for Windows 10, whichever OS you are using. This will work in Windows 10 and 11 as well. Click on first link and you can see the latest here. This is for 32 bit Windows 10. This is for Windows 11 and Windows 10 for 64 bit. You just need to click on download. Once it is download, just reinstall the driver and after that restart your system and you should be able to see the Bluetooth driver once the, you are done with the driver. So hope this video is useful for you. If you have still problem, Still not solve your problem, we can go to the hardware, remove all the external like USB, mouse, all the external USB from your computer or laptop and flush the power like hold the power key for almost 30 seconds and then release it, plug in all the peripherals and then replug it. Your issue will fix after that. So hope your issue is fixed now. If your issue is fixed then hit like, subscribe and share. Thank you. Thanks for watching how to fix tech.